Eric and Emma shared a passionate moment of love. Eric had been dreaming about this moment for a long time as he gently brought Emma down onto the sofa and unbuttoned her. Eric's touch was so exhilarating that Emma felt as if she was possessed by a higher deity. But just then, Eric, it hurts. Though Emma was ready to take things further with Eric, it was painful for her. Eric immediately stopped and focused on her lips instead, knowing it was Emma's first time getting so intimate with someone. You should get ready for bed. Tomorrow's an important day for you. Emma knew Eric was right, and thanks to him, she was sleeping well lately. The next morning, Emma reached the event with Ashley and Lisa by her side. To their surprise, Nathan was already there. Emma knew that he was not there to show his support for her. Please stick to the script, Emma. I know this is hard on you, but Amber is innocent. And I am not? I gave up years of my life for you, Nathan, but you were just an ungrateful dog. Watch it! I never asked you to sacrifice anything. You did it willingly. Just as Emma was going to speak her mind, the makeup artist came in for final touch-ups. Emma immediately got up and asked Nathan to leave. Emma calmed herself and got ready for the event. As Nathan left the room, he crossed paths with Amber entering the room. Keep an eye on her. I will. Emma, you're up next. And don't worry, we are here for you. The stage was set for Emma to take the fashion industry by storm. She wore a shimmery silver dress with a plunging neckline as she made her way onto the stage. Put your hands together for our special guest, Miss Emma Miller! It had been a long time since Emma was in the spotlight in front of an audience. She took a moment to soak it all in. Hello, everyone. The crowd didn't stop applauding and thousands were watching the show at home. Little did they know that Emma was not there to endorse the cheap brand, but to do something totally unexpected. Emma, we are grateful that you are here to support this cosmetics brand. Could you please tell us why you like their products so much? Emma took a deep breath and glanced at Ashley and Lisa. She made sure the whole of America was watching. I have never heard of this brand before. The customers have rejected their products and I support them. I have never used their products and never will. I want to thank my audience for their attention and support. I may lose my position in the industry, but I will never let go of my principles. I'm going to make a comeback. And how? Emma had almost finished before anyone could realize and act upon it. She dropped the microphone and walked off in front of the stunned MC. Oh my god, what did she just say? I have to listen to it again. <laughs> That's a major slap on the face of the brand. We can't think of anyone else to tear apart the agency at a live event. I love you, Emma! The online community erupted in an uproar. In an instant, all her hateful comments were buried under as the fans now cheered, pouring her with love and support. But two people were not happy. Nathan and the brand's representative, Joe Connors. How dare you, Emma! You better get back out there and apologize, or I will make you regret your very existence. Joe looked right into Emma's eyes as he meant every word he said. Emma looked right back at Joe and... I think it's too late for that. You know what they say about shooted arrows and spoken words. You just cannot take them back. If you don't clear the mess you have just created out there, I assure you, we will take extreme measures. Even if I do apologize, who would then apologize to your customers? Joe was fuming with anger. He summoned a security guard and sent him towards Emma. But Lisa and Ashley were quick on their feet and stood in the way immediately. What do you think you are doing? Meanwhile, watching the scene unfold was Nathan. He was worried and his pale face couldn't hide it. He wasn't concerned for Emma but for himself and his company Global that was stuck in a messy situation. He needed Emma to fix this, so he pulled her aside. You think you are hurting me and Amber right now, but you are hurting yourself too. You will never find work again after this fiasco. I think you were wrong, Nathan. I don't care. You owe me and the brand an explanation. Go out there, apologize to the crowd, and clear Global's name out of this. And don't think you will get away with this. I'm going to make you pay for the damages and release a statement on your behalf. I don't think you understand what's happening here, Nathan. I was clear enough. From today onwards, I will do what I want. And don't you worry about Global. My lawyers will be meeting you for a cup of tea today and review my contract. On the contrary, I am going to make you pay. Nathan was stunned into silence. He couldn't believe Emma could corner him like this, yet he refused to believe Emma could change. 
Maybe she was weak. Maybe it's an attention-grabbing stunt. Nathan thought of everything he could to convince himself. If you don't do as we say, you will never walk out of this door. Emma was in a fix. Joe was serious. Lisa and Ashley were cornered by the guards, and Nathan was just happy to see her in this situation. Just then, the door flew open with a loud bang. A man stormed in in a black tailored suit, black sunglasses holding a leather briefcase. Mr. Joe Connors? Who are you? My name is Reed. I am Kaleidoscope Entertainment's lawyer, and I am here to sue you. Reed went straight up to Joe and handed him the warrant for illegally using Emma for their shoots. Joe began to tremble as if he was holding a bomb. He knew that they were being swallowed by a bigger fish that was Kaleidoscope. The mood around the room changed after the sudden turn of events. Nathan got so scared that he left the room without a second thought. Lisa and Ashley had a grin on their face, and Emma had a triumphant smile as she looked at Joe's arrogance gradually diminishing. She was aware that Eric was behind all this. It was his way of taking revenge for messing up with his wife. Emma, we should leave! Lisa and Ashley knew how to take advantage of such a situation and escaped the scene as soon as possible. On the way back home, Lisa was delighted to see Emma in this new and fascinating light as she scrolled through the positive comments Emma's fanbase were pouring on her. <laughs> oh, Amber's face right now. There is no time for all this. Are we up for phase two of our master plan? Oh yes, it's going to be amazing. How will Emma's blow affect Joe and his company? Will Nathan ever get back from such a low? Is Amber's career effectively over? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.